This is the first morning of rifle season for deer in South Carolina. This is year one, week 41. I saw four animals this morning, three doe and a buck, and I took a shot at one of the does, and <laughs> hashtag fail, I, uh, I didn't sight the gun in or anything for season here, and in a combination of excitement and it's a little chilly this morning, um, I missed. So. A little bummed about that about to go ahead and climb down out of the deer stand here in just a few minutes but still just uh, watching here um, it's really promising to see that I've already seen animals here on the on the first day uh, like I said a bum that I missed my first shot but uh, maybe I'll go to the range and just confirm and get comfortable with the rifle again it's a uh, the rifle that I'm I'm using is actually my original <laughs> rifle from when I was a kid this is a Ruger M77 22250 and I uh, I shoot a 55 grain fusion jacketed hollow point and uh, I've taken many deer with this rifle so I'm just uh, just disappointed that I missed. I had a chance to go ahead and get a an animal on opening day, and <laughs> I just uh, I just flat out missed. So, but that is part of hunting deer, and I because of my work travel, I didn't hunt at all in the archery and use my Excalibur crossbow and so I've never taken an animal with my Excalibur crossbow so I'd still like to do that so I still might hunt some of I still might hunt this year with the crossbow so we'll just see so but it's a beautiful morning here uh, it's a beautiful plot of land of what my friends have done here on their property so yeah but uh, kind of come down here from the adrenaline and uh, like I said I, I can feel myself I'm, I'm shivering here from uh, both the excitement but also from uh, the cold I I should have worn my heavy weather jacket instead of this light little jacket that I've got on here so but here on the weekend Aunt Cindy and I are thinking about doing a little hike so hashtag move more and so yeah we'll probably see you on the trail bye well we're out here at the and springs close greenway and we're kind of making our own all trails hike and recording it's a combination of the steel creek trail the blue star trail and eventually the lake Hagler trail and we're right here underneath the the railroad bridge is actually really really cool and from the pictures I always thought it was actually a wooden truss bridge and then we come out here and it's all steel girders and kind of a probably a early modern bridge but it still is really really cool and after my fail as you saw of my opening day of rifle season it's nice to get back out here and have a nice hike and then go have a nice lunch and oh by the way I can tell you I'm also now for the first time in like eight years I'm in the 220 pounds this morning I was just curious and so I weighed myself and I was 228 pounds and I I didn't record it which makes it like an 83 pound weight loss and if I'm kind of losing my train of thought, it's because Aunt Cindy keeps coming over here and grabbing my crotch and shaking my shorts and my shirt, probably because there's some bug or something on me, but, or maybe she's just in the mood since we're out here in nature. I'm not really sure. Maybe, maybe trains get her it all. Me. It was a B, she says. Uh-huh. Right. So we will see you later. 
So just after filming that bit there at the, the train trestle bridge, got stung multiple times by the same like wasp so my right side of my leg is on fire right now and I can feel the multiple places where it stung me but Aunt Cindy and I have decided that we're gonna go have Mexican food for lunch and so she came up with her own rendition and so now I'm gonna sing it which is for dedicated to the chorus of Les Mis my favorite musical so it goes something like this do you hear the sound of queso i don't remember what the hell the lyrics were are you sing it do you hear the queso sing singing come put me in your mouth it's the taste that we can get enough of so we're going out We've been hiking too long already, I guess, so. So, yeah, maybe we'll see you at the Mexican restaurant. We'll see. Bye. So like I mentioned, uh, we completed the hike. The hike was like 4.6 miles. We called it the Greenway Bridges and Loop. No, that's not right. We call it the Bridges, no, no, that's not right either. We call it the Greenway Bridges and Lake Loop. It was like 4.6 miles, a great trail, great facility, they've got it's, it's five dollars a person per day for hiking and some people get all bent out of shape about that but it's I mean the trails are really really nice and so but now we're here having Mexican food like we said so yeah 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 mm, delicious we will see you later so after Having lunch at uh, our local Mexican place, then we came over here to our local hangout and bar, which is a wine and beer shop over here. And they have then where a truck where you can get your mammograms. And so this month is breast cancer awareness. So you can come over here and get your girls smashed at the grapevine. And so I'm wearing the shirt here. That is the free shirt that the gals get. Because why? Because I'm in touch with my feminine side. So yeah, but you know, get yourself as you've seen, very pragmatic approach that I've taken with my weight loss and all that, but get the information, get the education that you need to find out uh, where you stand. And so that includes obviously all the testing, whether it be mammograms or physicals with your doc and all that. So get that done. But Envision Diagnostics over here is doing with their truck here. So come over here, get the girl smashed. To come over here and get your girl to get yourself smashed so all right take care see you next time bye good morning i'm here sitting out here in the, the backyard having my morning coffee and wanted to talk about something that i've really now come to understand with this whole journey of thinking less fat and therefore you know behaving less fat and then therefore being less fat but my probably my body chemistry has changed because now when I eat stuff that my body doesn't like I feel it so as you've seen, I, I went I went hunting, then we went hiking, and then we went and had Mexican food. But even in the Mexican food, I basically just had steak and veggie. I didn't have anything that I normally wouldn't have in my diet. And then, but then we went out and and I had three pints of beer, starting to rain on me here three pints of beer and then I had about like a half a pint of ice cream and yeah it's really starting to rain and I had some some cookies and so let me go ahead and get inside here so bear with me as I go inside try not to spill my coffee on me and so yeah it was I really now feel when I eat like 
shit. The the alcohol, the carbs, the sugars. Oh, it I just feel like crap trying to find a place here that maybe have some some light. But yeah, it's just I just I feel it. I feel it especially in my I get I get cramps when I eat like crap now. And I don't mean cramps in my stomach. I mean like actual muscle cramps in my quad, the top of my feet. Hi Maggie. The, oh, it's okay, baby. It's Maggie. That's Maggie. Poor Maggie. Oh. As you know Maggie's in congestive heart failure. Shh. <sighs> She's also just a reminder of the frailty of us all, huh? It's okay, good girl. But yeah, I just, I've really come to understand and feel that when I just have the alcohol, the carbs, the sugars, that I, my, my knees, my quads, I get cramps in my calves during the night, the top of my feet even. And I've really come to understand it's about what I'm putting in my body that does that. So I'm really curious if if any of you out there also experience that. Um, and you've, in your journeys, you have have come to really learn and understand what type of food that you eat and when you eat it, how you feel the next day. Because like this morning... I kind of just feel like shit. <laughs> so it was a great week, a great weekend. But yeah, I just had a horrible night's sleep. Woke up again in the middle of the night with cramps and all that. Oh, Maggie, it's okay, good girl. So yeah, I've really now come to understand that. And I really didn't have that sense of how food was really an issue and so now I've really understand when you know there's uh, medical professionals out there doctors and you know and nurse practitioners and stuff and say that so much of our ailments in their profession they ought to be asking what are you putting in your body and so I've really come to understand that the alcohol and the carbs and sugar it just wrecks me so wanted to get that out there and if you'd like to add a comment or something about your own experience but uh yeah i've really come to realize that what i put in my body has a direct and immediate uh reaction or consequence to my physical well-being not just my mental well-being because that's a whole nother topic we can talk about about shoving food in your mouth and how you feel mentally about that but physically I just hurt so but next week should be interesting because for business I have to go to Florida again so um, but I will be hunting before I go to Florida so I will see you in week 40 two <laughs> wow but yeah i'll see you in week 42 and uh you know the plan thumbs up because you're amazing subscribe chime that bell to get notified i am uncle mike mike